Lodash offers a very powerful method that allows you to remove any duplicate elements from an array. You just simply need to tell it what makes an element a duplicate. So in this example, I have this uh, array called objects, and there's 10 objects here. Each one has an ID property and a color property. So there's 10 total, so I see um, all of the elements here in the page, and that's because I'm saying um, there's a variable called unique objects, which is basically equal to objects. So I'm just iterating over the array and outputting the ID of the element, and that's why I wind up with 10 elements. And there's some duplicates in here. There's uh, ID 1, 2, 3, 4, and then here's ID 1 again, ID 3 again, ID 2 again. So IDs 1, 2, and 3 are repeated, and we can see that here. I see the ID of 1 twice, I see the ID of 2 twice, any ID of three twice. So we just want the unique elements. We don't want any duplicates. So I'm going to comment this line here and say now unique objects equals low dash dot unique by. And I pass the unique by method two arguments. The first argument is the array itself. So it's the collection I want to iterate over. And then I'm saying by what? So here I'm saying I want elements in this array that are unique by their ID. So loop through the array, look at the IDs, and remove any duplicate elements. I just want elements that have a unique ID. So what happens is I only wind up with seven elements because there are only seven elements or seven objects in this array that have a unique ID. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You don't see any of these IDs repeated. You don't see one repeated, two repeated, or three repeated because the unique by method uh, ignores any element that's a duplicate of one it's found already. And then I'm just simply using the for each method to loop through the uh, objects in the new array, the unique objects array, and output it. So uh, you need to tell the unique by method what makes an element unique. And in this case, I'm saying it's the ID. In this example, we have a similar challenge. We have 10 elements in the array. Each one has an ID. Um, but, but each one has a color property as well, and there's some repeats. I see the color red a couple of times, I see the color blue a couple of times, and green a couple of times. So we wind up with these 10 elements, and the colors are definitely repeated. So again, instead of having those um, duplicates there, I'm using the low dash unique by method. I'm passing it the array we want to iterate over, and then I'm saying, well, what makes an element unique? Well, in this case, it's color. It's the color property. So I don't care about IDs anymore. What I'm saying is only give me elements that are unique by the property color. And that's why I only wind up with three elements in the page now, because there are only three colors, red, blue, and green. They're repeated a lot, but the unique by method just returns the first instance it finds of each of those values because as soon as it, saw, it finds a second red or a second blue or a second green, it ignores it. So the unique objects array now has three elements because I'm getting just the unique elements in this array. And the low dash unique by method always takes two arguments. First, the collection or array of elements you'd like to over which you'd like to iterate, and then something that tells unique by what makes an element unique. What is the um, parameter we're using to determine what makes an element unique.